All right, Libra, I, I've been waiting to get to this one because I want to know what the hell is happening with you guys. Now, this one was like, wow, what is going on? But then when I looked at deep knowing, it, it was interesting how it kind of like felt for me looking at this. So let me get into this and stop babbling. The Lady of Lightning, surprises, sometimes shock and total paradigm shift. Now, this did show up as an ally, which means this, this is a really good thing. This isn't, you know, the tower collapsing and it being something that you didn't want to have happen. Okay. But when you look at that with deep knowing, I think that you've been given signs and intuitive feelings and thoughts like continuously before this actually happens, but you may not have understood it, but in a very deep way, you knew that this was going to happen, that this shift was going to happen in your life, but you may not have known what action to take. It's like just this feeling, like, I feel like it's going to happen. I don't know what the hell's going on with me. I feel it. And then the Lady of Lightning comes in and it's like, boom. So it may be that, you know, these kinds of like intuitive feelings that have been coming to you are leading you to do something that you didn't even realize that you were doing in order to create this shift in your life. Now, again, the Lady of Lightning is a good thing. As an ally here, it's saying that this is, this first of all, was not something that you were anticipating or something that you were expecting to have happen. But the thing is, is it's meant to create better opportunities for you. So you need to have big shifts in your life before you can reach like great new heights, right? So clearly, I think that you realize that something in your life was going to change in a really big way. I don't think that you really understood it as far as the messages coming through to you. But as long as you're in this place of like hypersensitivity, you need to pay attention. You may not understand it, but don't discredit it, right? Because your actions may have been like pushing you to make this happen. And you're like, wow, I didn't, I wasn't expecting this. I wasn't expecting to do this. I don't know why I did it, but it's meant for something better. It, it just, it, wow, Libra. <laughs> now, and here, here's where it gets even more interesting for me. So for moonology, nothing is yet set in stone, the mutable moon, right? And we say that all the time. It says, I know that the best will unfold for me. It says, you're mandering towards your goal, and that's okay. That's okay, right? You, you are being pushed by something that is so deeply connected with you, and you don't even understand it, and you're just kind of like following these footsteps, but like not understanding why you're being pushed in that direction. But it creates this big, huge shift in your life. But this is saying... You need to be flexible, stay adaptable. <laughs> Staying adaptable is the key to success for you now. Make sure you're not being led astray. And it says, have you become distracted? Time to focus. And then it, stay, it says, oh my God, if I could talk, right? I need to slow down. <laughs> you're creating all this excitement, Libra. Stop it. <laughs> it says, stay with it, whatever it means to you. So even though you may not understand it, you're like, I don't know why I just did that. Stay with it, right? But be flexible because nothing has to be set in stone, even though you're creating big, huge shifts in your life. All right. Here's your overall, the Emperor. Boy, coming in strong and not playing games. The Emperor being the overall, we're definitely talking about order and control out of chaos. Out of chaos that you may have created and not realized why. <laughs> now, with the emperor though, we could definitely be talking about a person possibly here. And you have Aries going on. But I don't know, I look at that as the overall and think no matter what is going on around you, we're gonna get control. Now, sometimes though, I have to ask the question on who is in control, right? You know, but we'll see. We'll see where the dominant force is coming from. Okay, in the past, the Eight of Cups. So this may be about a situation that you've definitely considered moving on from or walking away from. Some of you may have done that. You've walked away from something and now you're moving forward in a way where, you know, we're getting control over things just straight up. But I look at this Eight of Cups and I think she's looking back over her shoulder going, do you see? Do you see I'm about to walk the fuck away from you? I hope you're paying attention. <laughs> that That's what I feel looking at her. You know, but that doesn't have to be for everybody. 
but this is in the past you've spent a lot of time with something invested a lot emotionally into it but weren't getting anything out of it so have you moved on right and like i say when it comes to the eight of cups one of the things that i don't like is the fact that the word abandonment is attached to it because i don't think anybody intentionally wants to abandon anything so you know i think that that word alone is what stops people a lot of the time from moving on from a situation that is draining them right oh boy you and who else had this here aquarius the nine of swords now let's say that some of you have walked away from something that wasn't fulfilling you anymore okay whether that's a person a job whatever the situation may be i think that you know especially considering the oracle cards here looking at the nine of swords you may be thinking about it in such a way where you're questioning on whether or not you did the right thing some of you are just torturing yourself mentally on whether or not to do it though which can be the case but we're talking about the thoughts that like destroy your mind you know thinking about worst case scenario second guessing actions fears and anxieties all that stuff right oh god is Aquarius dealing with Libra or Libra with Aquarius maybe and I just say that because it's the same progression here you know except for the eight of cups but there's still you know that emotional garbage though the three of cups being in future conditions but here's where things are different though because with the emperor for you being the overall for talking about order and control out of chaos this may be absolutely some support that may be coming through to kind of help you get things back on track now this could be one person in particular who's wanting to take control of a situation here where there may have been too many people involved which absolutely can be the case so some of you are like wanting to move on here but you may be second guessing things or overthinking things and maybe what you're needing is some support okay staying with the traditional now on the other hand right i mean look at it it could be that we're still dealing with other people third party situations emotional affairs but like i say i don't like to create drama that's not there i need more i need to see more but the progression is hard moving on from something that has been emotionally draining and if you have you may be second guessing that for some of you you haven't because there's fear and anxiety but the three of cups you know it may be that some of you are not exactly wanting to leave a situation where you may be the third party or there is a third party but we're still wanting control or somebody to take control now for a lot of you it's just i need to be in a place that's more supportive to you know the changes that i'm making the big huge shifts right mm. Oh, your best path to follow the high priestess. And you know what I love about this one is that they stayed with, you know, the traditional, with the high priestess, the the, the image. So the B and the J, uh, Bozak, and, and it starts with the J. These are names. It's the temple, the, the pillars in the temple of Solomon. And what they stand for, though, I do remember, if I can't pronounce the names or get them right in him is strength and he will establish and i think that that's interesting considering that we're talking about the realm of possibilities with the high priestess this is where you know we give our ideas the aces these beginnings the room to grow and this is where all possibilities are right that's really what she is about you know do you want to see behind the veil do you want to see you know all the possibilities that could happen but we're also talking about intuition right and, and paying attention to what it is telling you even though you may not have the facts to support it in you is strength to establish you know and then again i, I look back at at being flexible right this mutable moon nothing is ever set in stone and you may feel like you're just kind of tripping over yourself to your goal but as long as you trust what you know your your guts telling you you're going to be fine now for a lot of you in terms of advice as far as action goes it's saying that trust what you know to be the truth there is nothing that you really need to do right now 
But if you're kicking it off with the Eight of Cups, then maybe you need to pay attention to that part of your intuition that is telling you that this is not a situation that you should give to anymore if you want to have control. Wow. And deep knowing, deep, deep knowing. You know, and I look at that with the Nine of Swords and think, yeah, that, that's probably the best advice you could have right now, especially if you're torturing yourself mentally about something that you're wanting to walk away from or something that you have moved on from. Okay, in your environment, the Knight of Cups, sorry. And I go back to this feeling of you don't need to act. There is nothing that you really need to do right now other than to pay attention to how you're feeling. And now that I'm looking at it this way, if somebody has not got, gotten control over their actions and them kind of acting based on how they feel, if they're coming toward you, this may be a situation that you have given a lot to and invested a lot in before, but you're coming into this going, okay, I don't know that I really want to continue to give to somebody who's not willing to follow through with what they say especially if we're talking about an emotional offer. And for some of you, the mental torture is going to be about whether or not there are other people still involved. What is your intuition telling you? You know, are you in control of this situation or are you allowing somebody else to have control? <sighs> but I'm still holding out hope with that three of cups, right? Because I'm looking at death and I'm looking at major changes being the underlying here and whether or not you, a situation can work. You know, but we're definitely talking about something that's going to be coming toward you, something that's going to be coming toward you. Now it's a question of, you know, like I said, whether or not this is somebody who's going to follow through with what they say, or it's about you having the ability to follow your heart on something new that may be coming through to you or maybe being communicated to you. But it's clearly going to be something that you've invested a lot into to begin with. Wow. Your hopes and your fears, the Page of Pentacles. And I'm nodding my head behind the camera here going, yeah, yeah, it makes sense. Especially with the Three of Pentacles being, you know, the underline. So with the Page of Pentacles here, we're talking about wanting to get something started, wanting to get something going, but it's only based on information that has been learned. But that information that has been learned is coming from what you know intuitively. And that can be hard to trust sometimes. Because there's no real facts to support it. But if in you there is strength to establish, then maybe that is what your intuition is trying to tell you if you're willing to put in the effort to start over, so to speak. Because that's kind of how I look at the Page of Pentacles. And again, the communication, right? But being the student, it's about applying information that has been learned in such a way where something can grow. But knowing that, you know, we have to start at the very bottom and work our way up to building something good, right? But I also think that for a lot of you, this is hoping for communication that somebody has gotten control over possibly some situations that may have been affecting, you know, what was going on in the past, <sighs> hoping to learn something new and hoping that, you know, if you are dealing with a person here that they want to build the same thing that you do working together, right? Oh, oh my God, what the fuck? Okay, so here's what I'm going to do here. Now, Libra, you know, I definitely, I feel like you guys deserve this. And this is no offense to anybody else who may be cross-watching Libra, okay? So because they're last, and unfortunately, it takes me a while to upload all of these. I'm not, you know, it, it's it's not favoritism. Okay, they, they, they deserve this. So I'm going to clarify the devil and I want to clarify the three of cups. And I want to see how those are playing off of each other because the devil coming out in this situation is not good. You know, it's being attached to an unhealthy situation that you knew you should have walked away from in the first place. But we're also talking about, you know, the negativity that may be attached to a situation that you want to have control over, but that may have to do with other people. But I want to be sure here with this three of cups. And then there's the Page of Wands, but with the moon being there, I think that it, it may be about somebody who's just communicating to you because they want you to believe that it's worth continuing to do, if that makes sense. So 
first of all, with the Ten of Pentacles and the Three of Swords, right? So you're talking about with the devil here, the devil is going to have a negative effect on a situation that, you know, should be really stable, right? Security and stability overall with the Ten of Pentacles. But we could also be talking about temptation where it shouldn't be because maybe somebody is involved with, you know, a situation where they may be married and things like that, which is possible. But my question always with the Ten of Pentacles is, you know, how is overall security and stability being affected? With the Three of Swords and the Three of Cups, for some of you, in terms of the past, the reason why you may have wanted to walk on from this or have, because I feel both for some of you, it may be because you're wanting, you know, security and stability, but with the Three of Swords, you're not getting it. But that be that could be because, be because, my God, if I could talk right, of other influences with the Three of Cups, which is absolutely possible. Now, the thing is, though, is that is something about it. There's something about this situation that you know is not healthy. You know that there may be other people involved that it could, you know, affect a family situation or it could affect just security and stability. You know, it's not secure. The devil is not going to be secure, right? But there's something about it because you have the Ten of Cups and then the Four of Wands. Now, the Ten of Cups is going to be with the, the Three of Cups. So both of them are showing family. But overall happiness and, you know, wanting to, again, work on building something here and wanting to get stability in the situation. And I look at that with, you know, the Knight of Cups. And I think that for a lot of you, you know, with the Nine of Swords being there, that this is something that you're kind of like playing out in your mind and going, I don't know if this is the right thing to do, considering the fact that nothing happened before but you continued to invest into it, but it's a heartbreaking situation because there's other people involved in security and stability is being put into question. So, you know, that's kind of where your thoughts are on it right now. Now, what I worry about ultimately coming out is with the page of wands and the moon. If we're talking about a person in particular with the Knight of Cups or an emotional offer that may be coming to you, when you're looking at the communication with the page of wands with the moon, this is... Let me show you something that is not real, so you will come with me, come with me, follow this path. You know, so I worry about that a little bit, but I think that, you know, you're still very confused about the negative things that are still attached to the situation that may have to do with other people. And it's not that, and here's the thing that I would caution with this. And, you know, this is getting very specific. So for those of you, you know, who are dealing with this, you're, you're going to know right off the bat. These people are not bad people. It's just that they didn't want to get caught up in this situation, but they need to be taken into consideration. Now that though could be, especially with the family situation going on, having to do with kids. Now it could have to do with other people, you know, being married, things like that, like I said before. But the moon ultimately coming out with the devil, I think that you understand that nothing has really changed. And I don't know that somebody is wanting to get control over a situation and do the right thing, so to speak. And I'm surprised that it's not the King of Pentacles, honestly. You know, because I want to say that this is somebody that wants to have it both ways, if that makes sense. And I have to wonder, if you're not dealing with a person who is constantly giving you the woe is me story of how bad things are for them, but that's because they want to manipulate your perception on the situation. But the thing is, is you know better, you know? Uh, I worry about this a little bit. Let me look at the soul trees, right? And, and the total shift may be that, you know, you finally realize that this is not a good situation with the devil coming out and you're like, I'm done, right? Like I, you didn't even realize that that's where your intuition was pushing you. But I still look at the Emperor as the overall for you and think that ultimately here, there is going to be control over this. Especially if you're able to see past, you know, what is being cast on you or what somebody is trying to hide with the moon. And flourish. Pay attention to that psychic knowing because you know like you know like you know. Reconnect with spirit. Reconnecting with spirit is always a good advice here because when you reconnect with spirit, with the source, 
You're going to trust that psychic knowing and it's going to lead you to a place where you can flourish rather than being in a place of darkness, confusion, and negativity. And that, I think, is what's going to help clear up where your thoughts are at with this situation. Instead of, you know, being pulled almost, you know, and then be authentic to who you are. You are asked to be real and true pertaining to who you are and how you feel. So love may endure as far as this situation goes. And this is what I'm talking about. You know, it doesn't exactly have to be like this horrible thing. I don't know. Like, I don't know. Because my better judgment would say with the devil being there, fuck all that. But that's easy for me to say from my perspective looking at it. But for some of you, you already know what the devil is in this situation. And you may see how your love can continue to endure if we're talking about a relationship here. But you need to be authentic, right? You need to be authentic to who you are. But you have to be, you know, I think authentic to your intuition though too like man it's really going to be pushing you and guiding you here and you're not going to understand it but the shift that happens is ultimately going to be a good one for you wow <laughs> libra I, you know i there there's a part of me that so badly wants to go back and just simplify this but you, you guys know how i feel right maybe th this is something very specific for only a few people and maybe they actually need to hear this you know, and for those of you who this doesn't resonate with, you know, it, it, right? Cool. It's not going to be for everybody. But there's a reason for this, right? That That's what I believe looking at this. But, you know, I, I'm pulled. I'm pulled between telling you to leave it alone because nobody is actually getting control. But then there's another part of me that says, maybe we can get control over this. Maybe we can get rid of, you know, outside influences, or maybe there's going to be more support for this. But we really need to look at the negativity, you know, and making sure that we do things the right way. Absolutely. That somebody is following through with what they say and how they feel. And making sure here that somebody is not trying to cast like a cloud over what is real. But you know, though, and that's the thing, you know, but if you have strength, you can establish what you want. Wow, Libra, you guys are going to have to let me know on this.